Okay, so now we have a problem utilizing Bernoulli's equation. We have a pipe here, and this is ground level over here. So it's starting underground. The radius of the pipe is four meters, and we have a source pushing water here this way. The source is pushing water at a pressure of two and a half atmospheres. The water is going to go up, up the tube. As it's going up, the tube is getting constricted. So as we saw from the volume flow rate, the velocity is going to increase, right? Velocity is going to increase, increase. But uh, it's also going to decrease because its potential energy is increasing, right? So it tends to decrease. So what we want to do is we want to find out, the problem says, what's the incoming velocity, V1, and what is the outgoing velocity, V2? With what velocity will the um, water be coming out over here? The pressure pushing back here is regular atmospheric pressure because the tube is outside in the air, right? So it's exposed to atmospheric pressure. The height elevation from here all the way to the center of the tube, from here to here, is 10 meters. The radius of the tube is uh, 1 meter here and 4 meters here. So let's start out with the volume flow rate continuity equation. We have A1, V1 equals A2, V2, pi times R1 squared, V1, pi R2 squared, V2. So pi, pi cancels. So we have 4 squared times V1, which we don't know, is equal to this uh, radius, 1 squared, V2. So we have V2 is equal to 16 V1. Okay, so now we know that the water has to come out here six ti uh, 16 times faster than whatever its velocity is here. So now let's utilize Bernoulli's equation, pressure P1 plus density rho H1 plus um, half rho V1 squared, is equal to P2 plus rho G H2 plus half rho V2 squared, right? In this case, I can define the center of this tube as H1. So that's just equal to zero. This one is two and a half atmospheres, right? What's the density of water? The rho, that's equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter, right? So you just put 1,000 atmosphere and then you put your thousand 9.8 h2 and h2 is the 10 meters plus half uh, thousand v2 squared okay so let's uh break that down over here okay so we have here two and a half one atmosphere one goes over there subtract you get one and a half atmospheres atmospheres plus 500 v1 squared v2 squared okay so now we could put this relationship v2 must be equal to 16 v1 we could put that over there the other thing we need to do is convert from atmospheres to pascals we know that one atmosphere is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals and Pascal's is Newton per meter squared. So that it's a SI unit of pressure. So uh, we combine everything. So we have here one and a half atmospheres, and then I have to multiply that by this number, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth, plus 500 V1 squared. I'll just keep that as V1, okay? 500 V1 squared, this one, 9.8 times 10 will be 98, right? <coughs> 98 and then 1,000. Plus, we have 500 and then V2 is going to be 16 V1, right? Take this, bring it over here, 1.5 times 10 to the 1.13 times 10 to the fifth, minus 98,000, okay? This one is going to be a number greater than 100,000, so I can definitely subtract 98,000 from it. And then you have here 500 times 16 squared V1 squared minus 500 V1 squared. Okay, so let's do that. 
1.5 times 1.013 times uh, 1,500. So then I take that, divide it into this, and I, that tells me V1. That's the incoming velocity. It's a very small velocity. So 53,950 uh, divided by <clears throat> the answer, and then you've got square root of that. So you get V1 is equal to 0.65 meters per second. So the incoming velocity of the, uh, of the water is pretty slow, 0.65 meters per second. So we divided this by this, and then we uh, square rooted it, okay? Now, what's V2? V2 is going to be quite faster than that, right? V2 is going to be 16 times V1. So that number times 16, 10.4. 1 uh, meters per second. So that's actually quite fast. <clears throat> if you multiply that by 3600 and divide by 1600 to convert to miles per hour, that's 23 miles per hour. So the water over here comes out really, really fast. 23 miles per hour, you could really feel that. If you're standing in the way, that water is going to take you. Okay? So what is the volume flow rate? Okay? Q1 is equal to, uh, we could either do A1V1 or A2V2. A1, V1, pi times the radius, 4 squared times V1, 0.65. If we did pi times 1 squared times 10.41, we would get the same answer because the whole premise is that the water is incompressible, right? So we have here, um, okay. is that a lot? Is that a little? Let's try to see uh, how much is that. 32 uh, point six seven cubic meters of water are flowing per second okay we know that one meter is a hundred centimeters and we cube that and then we know one centimeter is one uh, one centimeter cubed is one milliliter and then a thousand milliliters is one liter so if i want to convert from cubic meters to a liter it's, you say one meter is 100 centimeters, so you say 32.67 times. Since this is, you got a cubit, you got 100, two, two more zeros, two more zeros. So two zeros cubed, that's going to give you six zeros, right? A million. Then you say one centimeter cubed is a milliliter, and then 1,000 milliliters is a liter. And then 1,000 cancels 1,000. So to convert from meter cube to liter, you just multiply by a thousand. A thousand liters. So you just say three, two, then go one, two, three, six, seven, zero. Thirty-two thousand six hundred and seventy liters per second. So that's a lot. Thirty-two thousand six hundred and seventy liters of water are going to be coming out. If you're standing in the way over here, that's going to push you pretty much, pretty hard, okay? And it's coming out at uh, 10 meters per second, about 20 something mile per hour, right? If we wanna convert that to uh, gallons, we say one gallon is 3.785 liters. So we divide this number, 32,670 by 3.785, we get, 8,631 gallons per second. 8,000 gallons of water per second are gonna be coming out, okay? And basically, that's the volume flow rate through the whole tube, okay? So this is a good example of a Bernoulli's equation and continuity equation and potential energy, kinetic energy, all working together, okay? Thank you very much.